Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Matt. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about prompt engineering. Now, this is something of a hot topic in large language models. It's also a bit of a dark art. For those that don't know, a prompt is something you give to a large language model that determines how it responds. We've used prompt engineering on MindGPT, which is our large language model for answering mental health questions. And today, Chris is going to explain how prompt engineering works and how we've used it. So I guess the starting point is what is prompt engineering? Yeah, so prompt engineering is a way of structuring the inputs in such a way that we get a desired output. So for example, if we have a question answering task, mm -hmm. we'd want to influence our model in such a way that it actually answers the questions that we're giving it. Right, and we'd want it to answer the question in a clear way. We might also want it to take into account context which is what we're doing on my GPC incidentally, because the context is the mental health data that we've given it and the, the question has come from the user. Why do we need to do prompt engineering then? So with natural language inputs, we have a huge search base of possibilities, a very large combination of different words that we can input into the model mm -hmm. itself. Sure. So we need a way of cutting down on this search base and reducing the amount of time we're doing right, instead right. of just trial and error. So this is about a systematic approach to finding that ideal prompt, or at least a good prompt for what, for what we want to do, right? Yeah, exactly. So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about how we've used prompt engineering on MindGPT. So with MindGPT, our task is question answering. We're using in-context learning, which means we have context, a question, and the task itself that mm -hmm. we need the large language model to understand. To actually perform the prompt engineering, there's a huge number of variables that are in the large language model. So yeah, this can be yeah, sure. temperature or even the model itself. Right. Yeah. So to actually see how our prompts and small changes in our prompts mm -hmm. affect the model outputs, we yeah. need to fix all of these different variables in one way or another. And this allows us to directly compare each prompt template to another. Right, and we're making that comparison using a set of benchmark questions as well, is that right? Yeah, so we have benchmark questions which have an input with a fixed context and an optimal output as well. That right, we can and compare to. that optimal output is, is really down to our judgment. It's what we think is good, and then we can see which changes to the prompt get us closer to good, right? Yeah. So I said at the beginning that prompt engineering is a dark art. There are an emerging set of techniques and approaches to this, and it's definitely a space that's going to evolve rapidly over time. If you'd like to learn more about the techniques as they stand and, and how we've used them on MindGPT, you can read about them in Chris's blog, which we will share below. And for now, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi. -bye. Oh, Chris, we forgot Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Yeah, nice.